All right, we are here at Mount Atlanticus Mini Golf, and uh, we are in their parking lot. This is one of those Myrtle Beach staples that you have to play. Everyone passes it. It's got the Tiki Huts way up high, so we're going to go in and play around a mini golf. Kind of interesting. They don't even spell golf. So walking into their uh, indoor, yeah, check that out. All right, so PJ, uh, what course are we doing here? We're doing the Minotaur the Challenge Course. The Minotaur Challenge Course. You got your ball and everything. What color are you rolling with? I'm going with gold. Going with the gold ball. All right, cool. So we get to go in this like little cave thing. You can see all around it. It's sweet. Well, everyone can see 360 all around me. There's a Minotaur. Okay, to the Minotaur course to the left. Let's go. Yeah, man. Check it out. It's got some cool theming in here. Oh, look at it. It's got some statues. Man, it's a nice little uh, air conditioned area to start off. Was this little little practice range? Oh, check it out! You get a little warm up practice sesh going. This whole little area is like a warm up practice area. Oh my! All right, so I guess we're gonna make our way over here. This is actually kind of cool, man, because you got. You got swings and stuff, little putting greens. This is nice. So you got some indoor holes before we dive into the, the outdoor holes. Minotaur hole number one is a pretty straightforward hole. Just got to give it a straight putt. But you see here they have alternate holes set up depending on the pace of play. Now for today, they've got the hole down to the right. So it's a pretty easy hole. And we're going to Minotaur number two. All right, Minotaur hole number two. Ooh, he gave it a bang ring. Okay. It's a pretty straight shot with these humps. You gotta make sure you get it past these humps. Ooh, banger. <laughs> Oof. All right now. Let's see if we can salvage a four. Bang. All right, let's go into hole number three. Let's roll. I think we're heading outside, dude. All right. Ooh, now there's the sun. Minotaur course. We are going up some steps. Gonna make our ascent. Oh, a little breezy. I like it. I like the shade. Minotaur number three. All right, so hole number three here. Another straight down putt. Way downhill, though. Some more humps. So normally, we would have the hole right in the middle, but today it's playing off to the right. I like the way they kind of do the side little holes depending on the pace of play it's kind of nice on our way to hole number four all right so we got a couple little holes here okay so you want to kind of get it in that middle hole if you can oh you got it nothing Oh, 
Oh, he got it in the middle one. Now, how well does that middle one play? It did not give you a hole in one. That stinks. The different holes bring out different areas. All right. A three. That's not too bad considering that first hole didn't get salvaged. So now we're going to go to Minotaur number five, I guess, right? So we got to make our way all the way up there. Can't we just watch you and record you instead? Yeah, sure. I don't no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Whatever works, I got to Go ahead, Pete. You can jump up there. All right. Show us one number five. Yeah. yeah, they just want to read your putt, dude. Exactly. That's exactly. That's basically Give us the yeah. read. Yeah. Just going to read your putt again. Yeah. All right. Now, he's a little kid, so I'm not giving him a penalty stroke on that one. <laughs> Drop it down the slope. There you go. Call that a mulligan. Dude, ride the rails on the outside. There you go. There you go. All right. Try the move. Stay up there. Sweet. Awesome. This is a beautiful course. Okay, so now we're going down to the Minotaur number six. Going down. Oh, we were going up, now we're going down. Lead the way. Look how beautiful though these holes are. Got a nice little waterfall. There's beautiful downtown Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So for hole number, what is it, hole number six? Yep. It looks like some sort of a claw, like there's a claw action going on. And the hole is over here at the end. All right. Go for it, pal. Oh! Almost a hole in one. That was a great shot, dude. There we go, rolling, and we're going back up. Got some beautiful plants and stuff. <laughs> All right, we're back up here. You gotta go down and back up. Oh, now we gotta go back down again. Go ahead, buddy. Whoa, this is way downhill. But it doesn't look like you get to ride the river down. Oh, if you get it in over there, I bet you could ride the river down. You kind of want to aim for that river, I think. I think that's the move on hole number seven. But how are you going to aim for that river based on where you're hitting now? I don't know. Go for it, man. Let's do it. Oh, he's just riding it down. That might not be a bad shot, though. It's not bad. All right. Well, it wasn't a hole in one, but I think you got an easy deuce. Oh, it's an easy here. I didn't go. Oh, that's what I thought you saw, and then you I hit it somewhere it. else. No, it's all good, though, dude. All right, three. And we're going on to hole number eight. Off to the right, they're actually having a music festival there, which is wrapping up today. Um, they've got some really big artists. I think like Trisha Yearwood and like Carrie Underwood hmm. are gonna be there and some really big name stars. So we're gonna go under this little hut. Whoa, gotta bring the 360 camera down. What's up? I hope you guys are enjoying this 360 degree view of Mount Atlanticus, the more challenging golf course, which PJ is doing really well on, I think. We've got like a little chessy thing off to the right. Loch Ness Monster action with some more waterfalls. I don't know why they don't put a fence. I know, you can fall right in there. It's like a little wading pool or something. The 
We've got some beautiful fountains and stuff here. Gotta get the shades on. It is a beautiful day here in downtown Myrtle Beach. Sun's out, guns out, baby. All right, this is a tale of two horns. I don't know what we got here. Oh, the hole is off to the right today. You gotta hit it into like a sand trap. And the hole is in the sand trap. I don't know if I have ever seen a hole in a sand trap before. Yeah. I, I think they change the holes based on the pace of play. So if it's busier, I bet they put it off to the left. That's a little bit easier, but on slower days, it's off to the right. So go for it, Peach. That's gotta be tough though, putting out of a sand trap. You just put it out of the sand trap. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that rough. Oh, good putt. Oh, he drills it. The downhill putt into the sand, into the hole. Amazing, what a great shot. Off to your right, we got some waterfalls. PJ is leading the way up to the left. Let's go towards the next hole. We got the Mount Atlanticus Minotaur golf sign off to your right. Behind me, if you're looking in this direction, you've got the waterfalls and where we're headed gonna be way up there into those top tiki huts which I think is gonna have an amazing view all right we are at hole number nine of the Minotaur course <laughs> you got to put your hand out in there I would not want to put my ball in that scum but guess what PJ just did Give yourself a drop where it went out. Are you gonna take it over? Yeah. All right, take, can change the hole. take that fabulous, yeah. Off to the right would be the easy placement. Today they're rolling with the tough hole placement, so. You gotta look around this way. There you go, that's a nice easy putt. Oh, look at this. Excellent putt, almost a hole in one. Great job, PJ. Finish that up for a two. Now, Mount Atlanticus has been around for, I don't even know how many years, because I think it opened when I came on one of my first trips here when I was about 20. That was well over 20 years ago. I'm aging myself. But they've done a really good job keeping this course up. What do you think? We're halfway done, PJ. What do you think of the course so far, dude? Pretty good. I, just, I like all the scenery and stuff. Pretty challenging. It's like a big flamingo, a flamingo ostrich. That's what that is. Whoa, this is kind of cool. It looks like a baseball cap, like a beanie cap or something. Hole number 10. Halfway through. So you gotta go up and around the beanie cap. And then there is the whole way over here. I'm gonna go stand over here and see what happens. All right, go for it. However you wanna play this hole, it's all you, dude. Oh, we're up and around the beanie cap. He got a kickback off of that little drain. Didn't really help him out that much because it was gonna go closer to the hole, but hey. Ooh, that was a tough putt right there. I don't know if you could tell, but it's got a little bit of a turn on it, not completely straight. Beautiful three on this tough hole. Okay, now we're going over into these tiki huts for hole number 11. Hole number 11, Tiki Hut. Get a little bit of shade. This was like an easy hole. 
Oh, it looks easy, but we have the tough little hole placement. That's right. We're rolling with the tough hole placement today, boys. So, yeah. You can see where the easier placements would be, but today, you gotta play the tough holes. We're gonna need a good little ricochet. Actually, that didn't play that bad. I think you have an easy kind of putt there for two once you bring your ball away from the wall there. Or maybe you don't need to. Oh, you needed to. I think if you would have brought it out a hair, you would have been all right. Uh-oh, you're in a situation. That's I know that's a bad... You're either, Oh, you're going to go for the bank. Oh, no! <laughs> this is a tough hole, man. You should have just played for the two. Oh, shoot. It looks easy, but man, this is a tough hole. All you got to do is hit it straight on this one. Oh, with the bank. He got the ricochet. I don't even know what that was. That might have been a spot. But who cares? Yeah, we're just having fun. Who cares what the score is, right? Yeah. We're going up some steps. We got to do some steps. I'm going to let PJ lead the way to the Minotaur number 13. No. Hey, look, there's our car. Oh, we got to do more. No, we're number 12. This is like another claw. We could have went to the left, could have gone straight, but today we are going to the right, which is the furthest of the holes. All you got to do is put it straight. Or not. Gave it a little oomph. Man, you got lucky there. DJ's being a little bit aggressive with his putts today, I think. That or the greens are extremely... I think the greens are extremely fast. What do you think? Are the uh, the greens fast? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of good because that means they're keeping them up in good shape, though. Let's go up. That's what we came here for, right? To go up? Yeah. Like... All right, which way is number 14? Crossing a bridge. Is this it? Is this Minotaur 14? 13. I keep losing track of the holes. Oh, dear. All right. That is a beautiful shot with a waterfall behind him. There you go. Beautiful. It's a weird stance. It is a weird. Don't fall in, dude. Can he make this punt for two? With the oh, that was a perfect ricochet for two, baby. Woo! I think that would. Ah, I think that might be the tougher hole over there. Yeah. Oh, we're going back. Oh, a little bit of shade, which is good because today it's in like the uh, kind of the mid 90s. Oh, yeah, like they got a little snow cone maker. Oh, it's like a cave. Is that a Minotaur cave? Is there a Minotaur in there? Yeah, I think that's where we started. Oh, okay. You see the Minotaur is. Oh, the Minotaur is just chilling in its cave. The ice cave. I'm liking the ice cave. All right. I guess they don't do the snow cones anymore. Maybe, yeah, maybe in the uh, evenings when it's a little more backed up, people can get a snow cone. Yeah. Oh, 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 hole in one. Look at that on oh, this freaking awesome long super hole. 
PJ just nailed a 360 degree hole in one. Boom, we just captured our very first ever 360 degree hole in one on Minotaur 14. Oh, we're going up, baby. Here we go. Going up to the 15th. So, I will say if there's one criticism, I guess this course isn't very handicap accessible because there are a number of steps and it doesn't seem like it's very ADA compliant. But it is a great course. Okay. So, yeah, PJ is saying we got a great view of the ocean, which we do. Absolutely great view. There's the music festival over there, the Ripley's Believe It or Not, the Sky Wheel. Like no, no, you just got to put it over the rock to get to the hole. Good putt. All right. I think you can nail a two right there. Boom. Another deuce. We've got One. three holes left. One, two, now we're I think we're gonna go back to one again. And we still gotta go up higher, folks. All right, 16. This looks like a hidden Mickey. Kind of does. But wait, there's holes on both sides. Can you just go for either hole? That's the real hole. That one's kind of chilling. All right, so we're going to go for the hole in the right. Oh, we're down. Oh! Not bad, we almost had another hole in one, but I think we're gonna get away with a two on this hole. Bam. Woo. All right, we're down to our last two holes. Here. Lifetime pass. Lifetime pass. I wonder if anyone's ever won a lifetime pass. Well, see if I can win. That would be awesome. Oh, this is the Minotaur's maze on number 17. Woo, look at that puzzle. Now, where's the hole? Oh, I see it. So you gotta get your way through the maze. This is gonna be ugly. This is like a very challenging hole. All right. Let's see you play this maze there, Hoss, because... That wasn't a great plan, I don't think. I think you're alright if you get a good little bank shot. Oh shoot! Now you're stuck in the maze, Hoss. You better set yourself up for a putt. Like I would. Go ahead, you do it. You do you, pal. All right, that wasn't horrible. But you're gonna have to set yourself up for this next putt. Yeah, you gotta move it out a tad. Or I would just give it a little tippy tap or something. There you go. And we escaped the maze. That was a tough hole though. It's not very long, but look at these challenges. And now we are onward and upward to the Minotaur number 18. The 19th hole is in the lobby. Check out those views to the right. You got the ocean to your right. You got the music festival going on. And we are going up here to this tippy top tiki hut. It looks like maze part two, but it's kind of just a straighter putt. Little tap. Oh. Oh, almost went in. And our final goal. Yeah, let's go. And for two. But let's just take in this view real quick. Wow. You can see the stage. We can see the music festival stage right ahead. You got the chorus light. Someone's up on stage there. 
Then there's another side stage. The 19th hole in the lobby. Oh, so I stand correct, but you still would have to go up. So they do have a handicap elevator, but then you'd still have to go up and down the holes. All right. Well, yeah, we got to make our way down these steps. Maybe. That's what makes it kind of cool, though. So yeah, we're going down about two and a half flights of steps to get down to the lobby. Oh no, we're still going. Let's see if we're get, we're about to get uh, history made. I will say this was a very well designed course, very beautiful, very well maintained to the 19th holes. Let's go. No concealable weapons allowed. PJ's falling all over the place. Here we go, Minotaur number 19. Holy smokes. Talk about challenging. You gotta go through this net, down the ramp. You're gonna have to tap it pretty easy if you want a shot because you can't over hit it or it'll just go in the back. I would not want to be you right now, pal. Give it your best shot. Well, you've got it about a half. You got it past the net. You gave it a good little try. All right, well, here we are. We finished up our round. Is this all the people that the ball ended up in the drink? Thank you to all the people that got it. Whoa. Are these the people that have won lifetime passes? There's a guy from Maryland, Tom Schreiber from Maryland, right in the heart of COVID. August 14, 2020, he did it. All right, those are our COVID winners and we're going backwards from there. Now we're down to 2015. This is the Wall of Champions. Cool. We're back in the lobby. That was pretty cool. All right, so PJ, how would you rate Mount Atlantic as mini golf on a scale of one to 10? Challenging, course beauty, everything. Uh, 8.5. An 8.5 for the Mount Atlantic as Minotaur golf here in Myrtle Beach. Very cool. I would give it like a nine. For as long as this place has been around and the course conditions, absolutely, I'm giving it a nine out of